Hello children. In our lesson today, we are going to be dividing by two. And I know you're going to be brilliant at this because you have done such fabulous work over the past week learning to divide. But let's just remind ourselves of the different methods that we've looked at. We've looked at the grouping method and 10 divided by five, for example, if I'm grouping, it means how many groups of five can I make out of 10 objects or how many fives are there in 10? So let's have a little look at how many groups of five I can make. There's one group, there's another group. So can you see that 10 divided by five would be two? If I was sharing, I know how many groups I'm going to be making, but I don't know how many they're going to get each. When I was grouping, I knew how many was going into each group. So this time I don't know how many is going into each group, but I'm going to share it between five groups. Let me create my five groups. There's my first of my five groups. I'm going to do this, the sharing method. And everybody gets two. So 10 divided by five is two. I could jump along a number line, which would be even easier because I'm not always going to have objects there to help me. So if I jumped on a number line, I'd start my number line at zero. I'm jumping in fives and I'm going to stop when I get to 10. So let's make one jump of five and then let's make a second jump of five. I'm going to count my jumps. I've got two jumps. So whichever method I use, I have got the same answer, the answer of two. But I would suggest that this is probably the easiest method that you're going to come across. So let's see how we're going to use that method in our lesson today. So now children, I've got 20 strawberries and I've put them into groups of two. I know these are not strawberries, but I hadn't got any strawberries. I'm having to use cereal. What calculation could I write? Mm, it's going to be a division calculation because I've put them into groups of, so I could say 20 divided by two equals 10. I could also have said 20 divided by 10 equals two. Do you remember that I could also write some multiplication sentences? I could write two times 10 equals 20 and 10 lots of two also equals 20. Now children, I want you to collect some um, objects, maybe um, pasta or cereal or stones, whatever you've got in the house. And I want you to see if you can solve this by using the grouping method. Now, it may be that you want to use the grouping method on a number line and that's absolutely fine, but eight divided by two. See what you can do, children. So hopefully, children, you came up with the same result as I did. If I'm dividing eight into groups of two, I will have four groups. And I can show you this on my number line. It's much easier because I probably wouldn't have uh, objects around me if I was trying to do this um, anywhere other than in my kitchen at home. So zero, two, four, six, eight. So I've got one, two, three, four jumps. Now, if I know that eight divided by two is four, I know that eight divided by four is two. I also know that two lots of four is eight and four lots of two is eight. So I can create a fact family. Now I could have used my knowledge of my times tables to help me solve this without having to draw a number line. Now children, I want you to see if you can solve 12 divided by two by jumping along on a number line. And when you've done that, I want to see if you can create a fact family and a bar model. Pause the video here and have a go. So hopefully children, you've got the same result as me. I've drawn my number line and can you see, I've made one, two, three, four, five, six jumps. That means 12 divided by two is six. I could also write it the opposite way around as 12 divided by six is two. If 12 divided by two is six, six lots of two must be 12 and two lots of six must be 12. Here's my bar model. I've got 
six lots of two in 12. So I've drawn six parts at the bottom part of my bar model and the whole is 12. So now children, I have some questions that I'd like you to have a go at independently. I'd like you to use the number line method to solve them. And uh, your challenge is to then write a fact family, two divisions, two multiplications for each one. If you want to, you could also draw a bar model. Now when we're dividing by two children, there is another method that we could use and it often crops up in problems and that's the sharing method. And the problem I put in your um, PDF file is about 18 sweets shared equally between me and my cat Whiskers. Now that's the same as 18 shared between two people that's put into two groups. Now I can do this by using 18 objects and here are my 18 objects and I can share them into two groups here are my two groups okay so that's one in each group let's keep sharing and see what happens draw my groups big enough. So let's see how many I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in that group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 18 divided by two is nine. I could have done that on the number line method. I would have got the same result, remember. But did you notice something that I'd done when I shared my um sweets into my two groups. Hmm. I halved them because dividing by two or sharing by two is the same as halving. So if I halved my 18 sweets, that means that we shared them equally into two groups, then I would get nine each. It's the same as dividing by two. So now we're going to look at this problem. It says neither Mrs. Riley share 14 sweets equally. So if I'm sharing them equally, I'm sharing them into two. So there are going to be 14 sweets. So there are 40 all together. And I'm going to have two groups. So let's see how many would go into each group. Now, there's lots of different ways I could do this. But I'm going to use the uh, one for you, one for me show method. And I'm going to pop them in here. So let's see. One. Doing this one at a time so they're going into the groups. I'm not going to have enough room. So. Just about. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven in each group. I'm going to move those out of the way so that I can actually write the seven in. So there are seven in each group. So if I write that as a calculation, it becomes 14 divided by 2 equals 7. Because I've got two groups and they're equal, I can say that I have halved my number and half of 14 is 7. I could have used a number line to do this, I would have still got the same answer. I could have written a second multiplication uh, division, so 14 divided by 7 equals 2. I could also write two um, multiplications. 7 times 2 equals 14, and 2 times 7 equals 14. I had to squeeze those in at the bottom there, children. There's now an independent activity that I'd like you to have a look at. So let's have a little look at this, or these two word problems. 24p divided equally between two friends, how much will they get? And 24p and 2p coins, how many coins do I have? Hmm. Let's 
see if I can write a division sentence to go with each one of these. So that would be 24 divided by 2 equals. And this would be 24 all divided into groups of 2. How many groups do I have? Equals. So I'd write the same calculation. This is asking me to share between two groups and to work out how many each person gets. And this is asking me to find out how many groups of two I can make out of 24. So 24 divided between two is the same as halving. And I know that 20, half of 24 is 12. So that I'll get 12p each. 24 divided by two, that's the same as how many twos are there in 24. I know my two times table, so I know that two lots of 12 or 12 lots of two is 24. So I know that there will be 12 coins. So in this method, I'm sharing. In this method, I'm grouping, but the answer will be the same. I can prove it by jumping on a number line. If I want to, let's do that. Let's draw two, four, Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. Let's count the jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there will be twelve coins. Let's divide twenty-four into two groups and see what happens. So here are my 24 coins. I haven't got 24 coins. I happen to have 24 pieces of cereal, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to share them. I'm going to do the one for you, one for me. So one for you, one for me. And let's keep on going until I've used up all of my coins, or pieces of cereal in this case. Let's keep on going, so about halfway there. And let's count how many I've got in each group. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We were perfectly right with our calculation. Now, children, there's some more activities. There's a challenge activity for you to complete, or a couple of challenge activities. And if you want some more practice in dividing by two, I've put an activity sheet as a separate PDF file. Um, I know you'll be brilliant at this because you've been amazing at division. So um, have a go, children. Can't wait to see what you do. Don't forget to send lots of photos to me. See you tomorrow. Bye.